Missouri lawmakers voting today to stop cities from increasing their minimum wage. Now, the House overrode Governor Nixon's veto of the bill, but it's not a done deal yet. That's because the Senate also needs a two-thirds majority to also override that veto. If they don't get it, the governor's decision will stand, meaning Kansas City's recent ordinance to raise the minimum wage to $13 by 2020 would stay in place. Minimum wage is one of more than a dozen vetoes Governor Jay Nixon made this year. This afternoon, the House upheld his veto of the contentious right to work measure. They could also take up a bill that would cut unemployment benefits, one that would cut scholarships from four non-U.S. citizens and a bill to governments from banning plastic bags.